But let's get to some news on the Nets from today. According to The Athletic, free agent Paul Millsap has decided on the Brooklyn Nets as his destination for next season. The four-time All-Star could provide a lot of experience on this roster. And also from The Athletic, LaMarcus Aldridge has been cleared to return to NBA action after being forced into early retirement in the spring due to some heart complications. He's reportedly leaning towards joining the Nets as well. So, Perk, do either of these players give you more confidence in the Nets' big man's death? Hell no. And here's why. Because all three of those players are the same players, in my opinion. All of them need the ball in their hands. All of them are subpar three-point shooters. I mean, Blake Griffin showed us signs last year that he's still able to get up above the basket. But if you go back, but if you go back and look at the history of teams that won NBA championships, what do you need? Rim protection. And what did the Nets, who did the Nets not use? DeAndre Jordan. Matter of fact, he's been on the market. So when I look at the other three guys at Aldridge, Bill Sapp, and uh, uh, Blake Griffin, none of those guys are consistently controlling the paint from a defensive standpoint. And when you're trying to win an NBA championship, when you're trying to beat the Bucks, you're going to have to go through the heat. Philadelphia 76ers. You you need somebody in that middle that's going to be able to anchor that defense consistently through a seven-game series. Yeah, so I think it makes it pretty obvious with these moves, uh, if uh, if Marcus Aldridge goes there, that DeAndre Jordan is going to get bought out uh, because otherwise they're going to have six centers on their roster. <laughs> and I will say, and I say this every year, and actually it applied to you two gentlemen who were – you know, starter line players, Richard was a, was a, you know, a high paid star in the middle of his career. At the end of your career, you guys came to championship contenders on minimum contracts and you had smaller roles. So if you look at Paul Millsap as the guy from three, four years ago in Denver who was making 30 million and expected to average near a double double, no, he's going to disappoint you. If you expect Paul Millsap to help them win three, four, five games and, uh, you know, maybe help them in a playoff game or two, making the minimum salary, then, then you're going to have, uh, you're, you're going to feel better about it. And so, you know, there were three or four teams who were interested in Millsap, so it's a, it's a good pickup. But they do have to do some cleanup on their roster because I think Nick Claxton should be playing. I don't think this should cost him playing time. And I think they got to get DeAndre Jordan out of there because this isn't going to work with, with this many guys. No, Nick Claxton, he, he literally looked like Jared Allen reincarnated. He was just doing all the things that he was doing. The reason why I kind of like this is because when you're talking about playing small, then you're going to have five smalls on that court I still think LaMarcus Aldridge versus a small in the paint is a bucket I still think Paul Millsap if you put an inexperienced small on him so you're not going to double team so I think this is offensively and I still uh, perk if you don't sit up straight I swear to you right now you know, no, embar you no, know, embarrass me in front no, of company come on no 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 I'm not trying to embarrass you but look just because you by the way you're doing a great job today of hosting but just because you're sitting in that seat doesn't mean I have to agree with you. Let me tell you why. Because you're sitting up here thinking on an offensive-minded standpoint. I'm going back to defense. Again, what wins championships? Defense. Yes, everybody looked at Giannis last year and said, oh, he had 50 points, which he did. Oh, he had 14 rebounds, which he did. But nobody want to talk about the five blocks that he had. Nobody want to talk about how he was able to switch out on one through five pick and rolls. Defense win championships. You have to hang your hat on the defensive end. Don't come give me that, that Tony and Steve Nash stuff about going five out and five small and all that baloney. You have to buckle down and defend. Just like in the Olympics with Drew Howard, they get added to that. Okay, well, we're going to see if we can turn down the volume on Kendrick Perkins' mic. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.